copy of plutonium was stolen by gorillas last night. I guess they want to trade it for bananas, huh? They were gorillas, not gorillas, Kent. <laughs> oh, of course. I always get apes and monkeys mixed up. Hey, Doc! Doc? Hello, anybody home? Einstein? Here, boy. Ah, whoa! Ow! Ah, Doc, this is disgusting. Seriously, where are you? Oh, well, I guess I can kick back for a while. Or maybe I can finish off that amplifier the Doc's been working on. at the Twin Pines Hall, 1.15 a.m. Tell nobody. <laughs> I bring your video camera. What? Ah. 1.15 a.m., just like you asked, Doc. Doc? Start recording! This is it! The culmination of my life's work! A DeLorean? A time machine! Get out of town! Once that baby hits one of these, you'll hit 88 miles per hour and whoosh! Time travel? Is that simple? Yes! If you ignore the complex bits, such as 1.21 gigawatts of electricity needed to power the flux capacitor, I've set the time circuits for November 5th, 1955, the day I invented time travel! Great Scott! It's the Libyans! They found me! I borrowed something from them. Quickly, hide! I'll draw them off. It's me, Marty! Open up! Do I know you? If you're here about the strange lights and noises, then that was my neighbor. No, Doc, it's me, Marty! I'm from the future! Look, I can explain everything. Great Scott! I know, it, it's heavy duty, Doc. And, and there's something else. After we finish recording... No! Don't tell me! You must never know too much about your own future. Speaking of which, we have to get you back to yours. Where are you going to get 1.21 gigawatts of electricity in 1955? From the lightning, Marty. Shopping list. That better do it. I 
hope you read that shopping list. He's not moving. Oh, no, 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 Doc, no! Thanks for the loot, Marty. You really saved my bacon. What happened to never knowing about your future? Well, I figured, what the heck? 